Bruce, it's Andu, and I'm here with an interesting review. This is the Nerf Blazon Bow. Now, I'm not too crazy about Nerf bows. Um, I used a Big Bad Bow as part of my Hawkeye Avengers costume for Halloween a year ago. Uh, almost exactly one year ago, in fact. Um, not crazy about it, but Nerf has been bringing out some more bows, and bows are kind of seeing a resurgence in all foam blaster mark companies. Um, can't say I've seen one from Busby, but I know Airzone has had a few. So anyway, this is one of the latest from Nerf. I don't really, I have love-hate with it. Not really love-hate. I don't know how to put it. It's interesting, but it doesn't appeal to me. But then I figured out something cool I could do with it. So anyway, this, we picked this up because I've got another project planned out for this for my fiance, who was fond of fond of bows. She does uh, deer hunting, in fact. Um, and in Minnesota, you know, bows are popular for that purpose. So anyway, this of course is a Nerf bow, not a real compound bow. And um, this was just purchased, taken out of the package, and assembled. Uh, I will point out that the arrow holders on the side that clip into these holes here are not attached because I might be repurposing those. And I, since they don't look like it'll be easy to take them off, we didn't want to put them on. Of course, these bow arms can come off when the shell comes in half. Now, the handle, the handle is comfortable, but not ridiculously so, because it does taper and round at the front for your fingers, but not at the back. It's very squared. The edges are rounded, but for the most part, it's very square at the back. So it's not the most comfortable, not the most ergonomic grip. The texture on the whole thing is very interesting. Um, we've got a lot of these uh, kind of ridges and lines here. This, these hole, they're not holes all the way through, but these uh, dimple textures along here. This end strike logo is just painted on, and these flames are in fact molded, um, molded here. They are raised from the rest of the shell. And those are also, can also be found, though not quite as distinctly, up here in the black part. So um, I know when this is repainted, um, as my fiance would like it to be, she wants the flames to stand out, so um, you can definitely, if you're painting this blaster, you can have more flames um, going along this upper arm and uh, out to the length. So um, a flamey blaster, it's called a blazing bow. Now this handle, it's kind of, it is comfortable. It's kind of weird. It's kind of a multi-sided thing. Um, but this, okay, these bungee cords don't really add any real force. These arms don't bend. You just pull it back. They do warp a little bit as the strings get as far as they want to, you know, um, stretch, and then they start pulling down here. But it's it's got a decent spring in it, but it, it could definitely use some improvement. Um, there is no trigger, of course, unlike the blazing bow. Now a trigger could probably be added um, right up here. That would be kind of cool. Um, and you can aim through this little hole right back here. I thought that hole was bigger originally, and I wanted to put in a uh, multi, uh, multi-fiber optic sight, like you'll find on a co hunting compound bow in modern sporting circles. Uh, but it's just eh, something little could be done in there, but it's too small. Um, besides, she told me she won't use that anyway. She's just going to use her arm and her excellent archery skills to uh, figure out her own shooting and aiming method. Anyway. Um, so like I said, this is just painted on here onto, onto the bow, it's not raised. This Nerf logo up here is raised though. And um, when you pull on it and you release, uh, you can actually see, if you watch this, as it slowly uh, completes the rest of that, it looks like it has a decent seal towards the front of the plunger at least. And there's definitely some air release holes um, somewhere to uh, protect against dry firing. That's why the air, that's why once it gets about here, it goes slowly the rest of the way um, because it's allowing air out there somewhere. Big air restrictor up at the front as well as some air release holes up here. I have also seen through research that there are big air release holes in here. If you want to just use this thing with arrows, um, definitely go in there, plug those up, plug those up, put in a stronger spring by God, um, and it'll perform uh, much better. But I'm getting ahead of myself. It comes with three arrows, and I like the color of these arrows. They're black with orange, and of course they are the modern arrows. They're uh, two inches shorter than the original arrows released by Nerf in the 90s. Um, and they uh, actually, um, you might be 
be able to see the angles of the fins here. They actually spiral through the air because the fins are put on at a slight angle, I do believe. Yes, they, they are. So it's a snug fit, good springer fit, especially when you have a large air volume. So you've got to push it on. Um, now, something I'm going to point out is arrows are incredibly valuable right now. And in fact, the only place you can get these new off the shelf is in this blazing bow, um, unless there's somewhere in the world where they, where they still sell big bad bows, which is certainly a possibility. But that's an aging blaster that I don't think they're planning to bring back. So, um, on eBay, if you can find them, a good price for these is, uh, and usually you're only going to find the old red ones, um, slightly old red ones. Uh, arrows are going to run you 20 bucks for three. Um, and that's in the United States. Um, vintage arrows cost you more, yada yada. Arrows are valuable. Nerf used to sell three arrow replacement packs. I sure hope they bring it back, bring those back because I've got some great plans for uh, dart, for uh, blasters with arrows, which will bring me to a review you'll see later, but I'm looking forward to doing. Anyway, I digress. So let's get to some firing demos. I'm gonna go down my uh, the hallway you're very familiar with. I'm going to be shooting right from the side of the camera. And this is going to be flat, and I don't think the camera can see around that corner, but the ranges aren't uh, abysmal by any means. Here, I'll move a little forward so the camera might be able to catch this. We'll go follow these arrows. Sorry for the uh, angle on the camera, but I'm carrying this with a bipod, and if I carry it vertically, I'll walk into them. So here's the arrows. Um, the ranges certainly aren't anything incredible, but they aren't awful. They certainly aren't awful. Anyway, uh, I do know, as I said, from my own research, that there are huge arrow release holes in here. I definitely think the spring could be better. And actually, you could even go a step further um, and probably replace these internals with homemade internals, something with more volume, a plunger with more volume, a longer plunger with a much longer draw. You could go nuts with something like this, I'm sure, uh, if you wanted to put in the time and effort. Now, we purchased this because I do have a mod that I plan to do to it. Um, at, I'll probably won't be painting it um, until summer, next spring or next summer, because we're finally starting to get regular snow up here in Minnesota. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fun little bow. Um, performance is definitely to be desired, but it isn't abysmal by any means. I, I feel safe using this as a close range instrument in a, in a Nerf war, but um, as far as uh, general utility, because you only have three arrows, and arrows are large, slow, and uh, have a lot of air resistance, Definitely, you want to convert something like this to darts. You could probably even single this barrel, put some brass in it, and uh, you'd have a front loading. It looks just about the right size. If you pulled everything out of here, you could probably stick brass in there and front load the darts just fine. I mean, I think that would work. But anyway, that's my blazing bow review. I hope you're looking forward to the mod because I certainly am. I'm going to use some concepts that I developed for a different arrow launching blaster. Hint, hint. Um, if you go to my Facebook page or if you follow my face, Facebook page, you'll see or know what it already is, um, respectively. So look forward to a couple of new videos sometime in the next couple of weeks, and uh, keep your stick on the ice.